Thank you, thank you very much, and uh, and good afternoon all. Uh, um, as uh, as, uh, as I just mentioned, we had a timely and uh, important exchange with ministers in charge of industry and the single market uh, this morning. My main takeaway uh, is that we are on the same wavelength, and that ministers expect the Commission to lead the way for a coordinated recovery effort. We are ready to do this. We have been working uh, on a forthcoming recovery package that will reflect this. Most ministers also underline that, faced with a symmetric shock, a virus that uh, knows no border, our response must be European. We must pull our efforts, our ideas, to make sure that no one will be left behind. To do this, we will need to base our recovery on the foundation of our Euro common European house, the single market. It has been uh, tested by the pandemic. It has suffered many challenges, restriction on goods, people, border closures, but it has resisted. Together through dialogue, goodwill and solidarity, we have rolled back many of these challenges. We will continue to fight them. They are not the answer. Now comes the time to look forward, to rebuild. We must use this opportunity to rebuild a greener, more digital and more resilient economy. To rebuild evenly and consistently all across Europe. Our ecosystems approach aims to do exactly this. Ecosystems cover value chains from the smallest startups, SMEs to the largest companies, from academia to research, service, service providers to suppliers, of course. They operate across borders inside the EU, but also outside. The European Council tasked the Commission with carrying out a sort of assessment of the needs of the different ecosystems and most affected sectors to allow for a targeted response and to propose a recovery plan and a recovery fund commensurate with the magnitude of the situation. To feed this work, we have just finished this assessment, looking at key economic indicators, establishing, establishing a health built in per ecosystem and identifying their repair and investment needs. Finally, we must draw some difficult lessons from the crisis. This pandemic shows the importance of our resilience and autonomy. We will not turn our back on open and fair trade, but we need to ensure that we do not depend on others in certain critical areas. For example, pharma pharmaceutical ingredients or raw materials, endangering our collective capacity to take care of ourselves. As we rebuild, we need to be ambitious and united. This is uh, from me the main takeaway of this uh, very important discussion that we had all together this morning. Thank you.